What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out Jaspie's 28 box out of the park baseball mixer, which is a random teens break. And again, we're giving away a $1,200 box giveaway with a J Rod and a Cunha autograph baseball. And we're also giving away a mixer spot. All you had to do was buy a full spot. So if you bought a full spot in this mixer, you had a chance to win a free spot. So we'll do that giveaway right now before we start. And then, of course, it is 30 spots. Um, Remember, no veteran comments will ship out of this mixer, but 30 spots, all teams in. Then at the end, guys, we'll take the 30 names, randomize them. Number one gets a box of Top Sterling Baseball, which I have right here, which is a $1,200 box. Boom. Number two is going to get the Julio Rodriguez autographed baseball, and it's a nice little gold, uh, black gold baseball. And then number three gets a Ronald Acuna Jr. autographed baseball, and this one's actually pretty cool. Uh, kind of spelled out his name, Ronald Acuna. Um, so that's pretty cool right there. And uh, let's do the main giveaway, or let's do the first giveaway, which would be the spot giveaway. So only these customers will be part of that full spot giveaway. We'll use the same dice roller for the giveaway. Then we'll paste in the names and randomize the names and teams with the same dice roll. Here we go, guys. <clears throat> Six and a one, lucky number seven. Name at top gets a free full spot. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times. Six and a one, seven. Chris Parent, congratulations. You just want a free full spot. And that's a little giveaway there for you. And then we're going to copy and paste this list of names for later. For this giveaway here. Alright, and now seven times here now on the list of names and teams. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's all right, man. Hey, you might be number one on the main giveaway. Seven times Oliver at the top. Done a Logan. All right, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, seven times, seven times. Minnesota, down to the Washington Nationals. As right, so Oliver, you have the Twins, as well as the Kansas City Royals, James with the Reds, Michael with the Cubs, Richard, you have the Dodgers, Wesley with the Angels, Aaron with the A's, Chris with the Pirates, William with the right, uh, White Sox, Sean with the Cardinals, Gregory with the Guardians, James with the Diamondbacks, Michael with the Rockies and Braves, Chris with the uh, Red Sox. Jeremy Poor with the Brewers, Jonathan with the Padres, Gary, you have the Astros, Kyle with the Marlins, William with the Rays, Aaron with the Phillies, Rex, you have the Mets, Aaron with the Ro uh, Orioles, sorry, Rex, you have the Blue Jays, Stephen Kendrick with the Tigers, Josh with the Yankees, Chris with the Giants, Barry with the Rangers, Richard Hastings with the Mariners, and Logan, you have the Washington Nationals. So I'll give you guys a few minutes if you guys want to do make any trades. I'm going to actually start probably ripping a couple of these heavier base products to kind of get them out of the way. Um, let me just copy and paste this here. But if you guys want to make any trades, this is your time. And if you do make a trade, just make sure to put confirmed on both of you guys. I'm going to go with like the anniversary boxes first and get those out of the way. So that's what I'm going to rip first. And I'm just going to rip them open. I'm not going to go through the cards. Just, just rip the packs. So don't worry.
All right, looks like Sean and uh, Chris are gonna create it. Are gonna get a trade in, right? So just confirm that you guys do want that trade. All right, so thank you. Cards for Giants confirmed. All right, anybody else? Anybody else? I'm gonna rip a couple more boxes, so I'll give you guys a few more minutes. <clears throat> and remember too, guys, this obviously has a mixture of all different years from 2020, 2021, 2022, uh, even dating back to 2015. 2012 actually and just remember too there is prospect products as well there is prospect products so so uh just remember that too trying to get the Cubs for the Mets. Um, so just remember that if you want to make that trade. If not, after this box I'm going to close it. Uh, James, well, I mean, there could be some prospects there for the Reds. I mean, I'm pretty sure Joey Votto is the more veteran type of player you could probably get that's active still. Um, if there's any 2020 products, I mean, Aquino would be a rookie. I'm sure there's, like, some Johnny Benches maybe out there too as well for the Reds. India is the most recent rookie they had that won Rookie of the Year. Um, but, yeah, I mean, not the, not the worst team, I don't think so. Just depends on the product and the year. All right, Rex is trying one more time, Michael. Last box I'm gonna rev guys and then we're gonna close the trade window.
game, Serena. TWC Rex, sorry, I said when I was done with the box. Unless Wesley just pops in right now and says yes. But if I don't hear him right now by the time I'm done making this uh, trade here, then no. Alright, so this was Cardinals for Giants. Alright, so this is Platinum Anniversary Hobby and then the three uh, light boxes. Wow, that was amazing. Gidry, I've never seen a black before. That is out of 10. New York Yankees. It's the first time I've ever seen a black one. Oh, uh, that's Yankees. That is going to Josh Melton. Looks awesome. Sean Murphy. Larry Walker. Frankie Montas. Ex Dodger there too, I remember his name. AJ Puck. George Kell. Brooks Robinson, very off center, Jesus. Harmon Killebrew for the Minnesota Twins. Oliver with that one. And Josh Johnson for the Minnesota Twins. Back to back Twins. That one's number to 99. Dave Stewart. Austin Hayes. Next one. These ones won't have any autographs, but these will potentially have some nice little colors here, like this Kyle Seeger. Chris T uh, Kyle Tucker, not Chris Tucker. Trying to hit another Mickey Mantle. Am I still the only one that hit a Mickey Mantle here? Sandberg to 100. It's like I did so much of this on Instagram. I only hit one Mickey Mantle. Pedro. Anthony Santander. Trey Turner. Yeah, I figured. What they should have done, and maybe they'll do this next year, if they do bring this back, 
they should have made mantles colored. So they should have done like all the color variations to to all the way to one on ones. Imagine if they did that. Like I don't know why they didn't do that. They should have made all the color variations of mantles. That would have been pretty sick. Jim told me, imagine what a one on one super fractive that sells for. I think that's why the value went down. You know? Because there was just no other variation minus the short print. But the short print is really tough to hit, though. It's like one in every 15, 20 cases. Johnny Bench. But it's funny they did it for all the other veterans except Mantle. Yeah, I remember when I pulled it, it was like a $1,500 card. Like 1200 to $1,500. I mean, it's still a cool card to have in your collection, though. Very Zito to the 99. Spencer Turnbull. Or Turnbull. Alright, Serena just freaking put that, put her hat on. I was like, alright, this is it. It's business. Down to business. Daryl Strawberry. Up 4 nothing in set 2. Ted Williams. Goats like Serena, though, just have that freaking turn on and turn off switch, which is amazing. Ah. Yogi Berra. Pete Alonzo. Jacob DeGrom. Yarmy Mercedes, Christian Javier, Jordan Weems, Yasmani Grandal to 199. White Sox. Cody Whitley. Jonathan Urias. Tino Martinez. Salvador Perez. Another Salvador Perez. Jake Cronenworth, rookie. Kevin Newman. Marwin Gonzalez. Larry Doby. Luke Voigt. There we go, guys. First four boxes of the 28 boxes in the books. Let's go with some leaf metal. And uh, this is what, 2021? Let me see if there's a checklist for this. It looks like there is a checklist. Here it is right here. This is what we'll go by.
Come on, Serena, no double faulting here. All right, here we go. Peyton Wilson to start us off, and that is a Kansas City Royal prospect. Number 16 of 35. We have a future stars, Riley Green. And I'm pretty sure he's still Detroit, right? Out of 25. Yep, Detroit Tigers, and that is Stephen Kendrick on the board. We have Brock uh, Selvant, and that is uh, not numbered. Yankees. We have Corey Morsetti. Leaf XRC number to fifteen. Or Cody, sorry, not Corey. That's Miami Marlins. We have Drew Gray. That is Chicago Cubs. We have Ethan Wilson. That's Phillies. Ezekiel Duran. Not numbered. That's Rangers, Texas Rangers. That is going to Barry Roberts. All right, a couple more, a couple more. Gavin Williams to 10. That's Cleveland Guardians. And last one here, or maybe not. Yeah, last one here. That's Benny Montgomery. State Pride. Going to, I think, Colorado, right? Out of 15. Yep, Colorado Rockies. So going to Michael. All right, and then the one-on-one -on -one production proof slab is Ty Madden. That's a crystal gold, Future Stars. Ty Madden is a tiger. Under the Detroit. All right, perfect. There we go. All right, let's go back to the older years, and then we'll start going to the sapphires and all that good stuff over here. These are pretty much the last two big heavier base products. We'll go with Gypsy Queen first, 2012. Two autographs and two relic cards per box. I know, Rick. Yet. Yet, though. Alright. And the old Gypsy Queen it was crazy back in the day. I totally forgot about that. They put all the minis like that. Just made it actually a little bit easier. Let's go through the mini 
these right here really quick. We got Castro, Garcia, Jay Bruce, Strasburg, I think Strasburg, Lou Gehrig, Jared Weaver, Ken Griffey. We got a uh, Longoria. We have a Jeff Francoeur and Elvis Andres. Let me make sure that there's nothing numbered here. All right, I'm actually just gonna put them back in this. A little bit easier to do that. All right. All right, here we go, guys. Damn, you guys remember Wilson? It's crazy. Actually, there still is minis in here. Longoria Relic. We got a little Moonshots. Willie Mays. There is a uh, Lou Gehrig black border. Man, I remember actually sorting this out. Now I just remember there's a variation there too. I remember sorting this out back in 2012 actually for a buddy of mine. He used to rip a lot of this stuff. It's actually around the time I got into the hobby like full time. There's also image variations of these. Um, so I'll try to catch them, but I'm sure the sorting team will when they sort them out by team. And I'll make sure to tell them that in case we miss any. Miguel Montero. We got a Albert Bell.
First auto is Stubbs. For the Cincinnati Reds, Drew Stubbs. We got a Daniel Hudson in ninety nine. Albert Pujols, how about that? Nice. Angels. Wesley, there you go, man. Black border there, Dexter Fowler. levels up. And a framed mini jersey of Tim Hudson for the Atlanta Braves. Are you still go back at books? Man, dude. <laughs> that, that could be a little off. Usually when it books for Beckett at 200 it's probably like 50 bucks. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it's $100. Though, but... <laughs> Serena! Serena! Yeah, Serena's pumped. All right, that was a fun blast from the past. <laughs> I mean, it could be $200, though. You just never know. I mean, since it's so old now, it's like over 10 years old. Still could be that. It's funny because back in the day, I remember a Beckett would be so off, right, on some cards. But then on some cards, on other cards, they would be so close to actual the real price. It'd be like, how the hell are you off by like half the price on one card, and then half the how how are you on like spot on on another price? So it was just always untrustworthy. Yeah, so let's just say that's true. Let's just say Bases Loaded just looked it up, right? Let's say one sold raw for two twelve. They're saying that books for two hundred on Beckett, and they're off, right? Because technically that would be representing a slab, but it's like I just feel like they don't update them as often. Like I think once they once they pass a year or two, that's it. <laughs> they're just like, yeah, this is what we had it priced at uh, before back in the day. But yeah, whatever. I think eBay is the market anyways. Alright, 2015, Chris Bryant rookies here. But that's still nice though, hey, for uh, for Wesley, if that goes for like 200 raw, that, I mean, that basically, that card right there alone pays for the spot.
Oh, are you talking like a color? Like a prism color? Like a green? You only booked that for $25? That doesn't sound right. Sorry, they almost had that. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Matt Kemp. Future stars. Jorge Soler. That's a refractor rookie. There's a Chris Bryant rookie. And Gallery of Greats, Albert Pujols. And you'll see what are right there, too. And a Jake Lamb. How about that? Gold. That's a gold. 43 out of 50. Arizona Diamondbacks going to James. Melky Cabrera. Man, you guys remember Melky Cabrera? He had that one year with the Giants and just freaking just had like, I don't remember how many home runs or something like that. I don't remember what, year, what team he was actually on. And then find out that like he was just juicing. Eric Cordier. Corey Kluber. Dude, Yasiel Puig is killing it. Uh, I think he's in, J in the J Japan Baseball League or something. Yasmani Tomas. Buster Posey. It's a 250. Oh, Korean. There you go. I knew he was playing somewhere over there. He's like on like a 30 game hitting streak or something crazy like that. I still follow him on Twitter. He's pretty funny. He seems very humble now. I mean, honestly, the dude just wants to play ball. So, I mean, if anything, that just shows you right there, right? He was playing in the Mexican League, like I remember a while back. I mean, he, he just wants to play baseball, you know? I'm sure he's probably getting paid pretty well to play over there, but still, you know? And Terrence Gore. That's an orange. Out of 20. Now we got some great color in here. With the RAM. Alright, nice little blast from the past right there. There you go. Advantage. All right, let's go with this Bowman Chrome hobby, and then we'll go with all the Sapphire right after this. Please, please. Enjoy it, Rex, because... I know soon, in a few months, you're going to be telling me how cold and how snow, how much snow there is. <laughs> no tornado, Terry. Have, you know, if you don't mind me asking, have you been in, like, in a really bad tornado before? Have you or been really close to one? Honestly, I think that, besides hurricanes, I think tornadoes are, f are pretty scary, honestly.
Like, you can kind of prepare for both, but at the same time, like... It's not like you can save your house if, like, you're in the way, you know? Same thing with, like, hurricanes, right? You can kind of predict a hurricane, but... It's not like you can save anything. You know, you better have insurance by then, right? Wow. All right, come on. Got to take the set. So right now she's got advantage. I hate these kind of rallies. Ah, that's exactly why. Come on, Nico Horner. Wildor Patino. Uh, no damage to the house. So the neighbor had a side of. Oof. Yeah, that's that's pretty scary. Randy Arosarania. Look at that. That's a rookie to four ninety nine. It really, I know that that is pretty interesting, right? I could be literally down the street from you guys, and then yeah, it just doesn't hit. And Kevin Smith. Brett Batty. Monte Harrison. This is like crazy right here, this point. Alright, here we go, guys. Should be able to breeze right through these right here now. There you go, Serena. There you go. Just gotta do that in advantage, though. Deuce number six <laughs> on this point right here.
Gavin Lux rookie. Ken Griffey Jr. Brandon McKay. Tony Gwynn. Randy Rosarena rookie. Bo Bichette rookie. Kyle Lewis. Alright, let's do these sapphires here and then we'll go to the Bowman Draft Sapphires. I don't know, man. Kyle Lewis, as Chad says, is made of glass. And I don't even think he's on the team right now again. I think Chad was telling me that he's on the mind and he's not even playing. I think that dude just needs a new start somewhere else. I'd rather, I honestly would take Tatis. <laughs> that dude is just not, I've has, has had good luck since his rookie season. The last time I seen, I think Kellenic was in the minors, but he was actually killing it in the minors though. Jesus, dude, this is like the eighth deuce already. There's an India. Green Angel Radon to 50. Oh my god, this is the ninth deuce now. <laughs> Young Kim Auto and to ten Chad Pinder. Ugh, come on, Serena, Jesus. Alright, Kyle Lewis rookie there. Alright, finally. Jake Fraley. Randy Rosarena. And nice Mookie Betts. That's Red Sox edition though, but still very nice. That's a purple out of 10. One of 10. 
Who has the Red Sox? Chris Parent. There you go, man. That's your free spot. Nice little Mookie. Alrighty guys, let's finish off the next two sapphires here. Urbina, Cody, Morsetti. Jordan Lawler. And Dustin to 99 here for the Washington Nationals. Henry Davis. Jackson Joe. Jackson Merrill. And Cooper Bowman. Alrighty guys, here we go. Let's end it off with, here <laughs> with a couple nice boxes here. And then we'll go to the baseballs. And out of 39, Andre Dawson. That is a Mantra Expos edition. Going to the Washington Nationals Logan. Let's go with the Leaf Flash Baseball. And Leaf Flash, there's probably a Leaf Flash for this, right?
not seeing any leaf flash on group break checklist at all so if there isn't then it'll just go to the teams that they're currently on or teams they play for the longest these should all be prospects so I only see Leaf Trinity, I only see 2020 Leaf Flash, I see 2018, 2019, I see Leaf Flash Football, but I don't see Leaf Flash Baseball, and most likely it's probably going to be the same checklist as Leaf Metal Draft, so I think for the most part that should be pretty, pretty accurate, they're usually all the same players. Alright, Grayson Rodriguez. It's a pitcher there to 25. And that's Orioles. Marco Luciano. And that should be Giants. That's still one of the Giants' bigger prospects, right? Yep. San Francisco Giants going to Sean. Orlando Martinez. That looks like an uh, Angels prospect. To 75. Yep, Angels. Ryan Cusick. That's Atlanta Braves. Luis Jill. Should be Yankees. Number to 50. Serena's blowing this. And Marcelo Meyer. Send us off there. Down 5 2. She's come back 5 5. Red Sox. All right, let's go with these two. I ended off with tier one. So this, of course, would be anything. And we have a Hyro Homerics for the Giants. You don't get this then. Uh, I don't know. 
Sicto Sanchez and a Shane McCallahan. Number 99. She's hitting. The, she's really pissed off though. She's hitting the ball really bad. Oh my god! What a play. She's like pissed. <laughs> Dude, the mom just seems so bored. And a Brooks Robinson. Baltimore Orioles. That is Aaron Miller. All right, last box here. And the rest of them are be baseballs, guys. So it took me about an hour to do all the boxes. Ernie Clement to three ninety nine. We have Kyle Muller to two ninety nine. And how about a little Vladdy to one twenty five? Vladdy Junior. And then Atlanta Braves Michael. Alrighty guys, so now uh, I didn't realize that there was actually six boxes of baseballs. Okay, so six baseballs and then four under wraps. So a total of ten baseballs. So we'll do the under wraps last. All right, man, you might get him here. There you go, Serena. Come on. One more. Dude, she's going to be so tired after this if she wins the set. I'm gonna do who am I for this guy if this is actually who I think it is. Hold on. This one's gonna be kinda hard if this isn't what I think it is. I'm not gonna show you guys, I'm gonna look at the autograph really quick. All right. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I. Maybe I don't know.
Uh, yeah, wow. Okay, it is. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so... I just was confused because this is actually not a baseball player. This is actually a basketball player who signed a baseball. I just wanted to make sure that that was his autograph because I kind of forgot what it looked like. Um, so here you go. Who am I? This was also going to actually be randomized to everybody. I am currently active in the NBA. I was the number one overall pick two seasons ago. I was a rookie, first team. I have a pretty cool nickname. Probably one of the most like funniest guys online and just has great interviews. Uh, played in the SEC for college basketball. Um, was a McDonald's All-American, five-star recruit, was freshman of the year. And, um, what else can I say this? What else can I say for this guy before people don't really realize it already anyways? Yeah, only been in the league for two years, but, um, had one of the best years last year for his career. Had averaged 21 points, had, uh, about, what, seven rebounds per game as well? And I went to Georgia. Yes. I love his nickname, Ant-Man. So yeah, this is actually Anthony Edwards from the Minnesota Timberwolves. And just in case you're like, what? I went to go look up to make sure that there wasn't any other Anthony Edwards playing baseball. But no, there's actually a Leaf autographed baseball right here. That's very similar, of course, to this one. So yeah, that's Anthony Edwards. That's cool. Everyone's going to get a shot at that. So we'll put that over here to the side. I'll have to randomize that. You would say that, Oliver. You would. <laughs> Alright, next one. Alright, that one was a bit of a throw off. Like, it just threw me off a little bit. Alright. I'm a former MLB baseball player who played for about 20 seasons actually played for one two three four different clubs uh one of my nicknames is the hawk and um was a eight-time all-star won nl mvp in 1987 i was actually nl rookie of the year in 1977 eight-time gold glove award winner silver slugger nl home run leader expos retired number 10 and part of the chicago Cubs Hall of Fame, and I was voted into the Hall of Fame in 2010 with 77.9%, ninth ballot. And yes, Andre Dawson. Now, of course, uh, since it is an autographed baseball, um, we're going to have to uh, see that he played for the longest. And I want to say, I think it's going to be Montreal Expos, no? I think he played for the Expos for like 10 seasons before going to the Cubs. Right there. And uh, yes, eleven seasons with the Montreal Expos. So that'll be going to uh, Washington Nationals, which is Logan. God, they're in a tiebreaker. 
I didn't realize it. All right, I'm currently active in the MLB. I'm a professional pitcher. I am 31 years old currently. Um, I've played for three teams in my whole career. I'm a five-time All-Star, two-time MLB first-teamer. I uh, won the AL Wins Leader in 2021. I uh, started my career with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Went to UCLA for college and uh, was a first round pick in 2008 MLB draft. I currently have 127 wins, 70 losses. My ERA is 321 and I have 1,800 strikeouts, almost 1,900. And yes, Garrett Cole. So there's Garrett Cole. And of course, that'll be going to the Yankees. All-Star Game Ball as well. So who has the Yankees? Yankees is uh, Josh. Yeah, I can't believe she like took up four, five to two, four nothing. I mean, this is it. <laughs> this is it. I was say like if she actually wins, she's gonna be so tired today. <laughs> she looks tired. Yeah. She's played like four straight days. I know they were saying that she shouldn't have played those. Well, yeah, she wanted to focus all on that, but she's trying to like leave it all out there. Huh? Alright, another one. I'm currently active in the MLB. I am uh, 23 years old from the Dominican Republic. Played for two teams my whole career. Two-time All-Star. World Series champ. Two-time MLB first team. Two-time Slugger Award winner. Won the batting champ in 2020. And was the home run derby champ this season. Just freshly traded to the San Diego Padres and uh, yeah I mean bases loaded got it already that was fast Juan Soto so obviously these are autographed baseballs so this is going to the team they're currently on so now that he's on the Padres this is going to go to Jonathan and there's the baseball right there uh, 23 DR I got it. <laughs> That's all you needed. This is where age is going to come into it, honestly. I mean, just... Yeah. She's a lot older. The other girl could be more... More quicker on her feet. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Alright. I'm a former MLB pitcher. Played for, whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different teams. My career, actually, maybe nine, because there's one for a different, uh, not in the MLB. Um, I have a wins and loss record of 124 to 107, an ERA of 301. I have 1,500 strikeouts. Nine-time All-Star. I'm a World Series champion in 1987. I am a three-time AL saves leader and part of the Hall of Fame 
in 2008. Um, has a crazy facial hair, and a lot of his uh, a lot of his uh, cards I've seen. Um, and it says here led the American League in saves three times and was runner up twice. By the end of the 1987 season, ranked second in Major League career saves, only trailing Raleigh Fingers. Um, I most notably know him from a Yankees. But no, Rex, you are wrong. Ha! Wrong. Not Blylevin. There you go, Goose. And, uh, yeah, Goose Gossage played for a ton of teams. Let's see, actually. I'm assuming. Let's see. Yeah, Yankees, seven years. Chicago White Sox, five years. Um, Padres, four years. And then everybody else, like, one, one, one. Yankees. Anytime I can tell you you're wrong, Rex, I'm I'm gonna take advantage. It's just the way it is. There you go. She did it. Woo! <laughs> Man, look at all those people that are not even in the arena. <laughs> They're just like watching it from the outside. Woo! She's probably like, damn, I'm tired. <laughs> All right. Last one here. All right, I'm a... Uh, well, actually, I yeah, played baseball on them. I'll be former a former player. I think played for two clubs. Cardinals and Mets, if anybody remembers this guy. But well-known more for his manager position. Um, you know, honestly though, damn, he had a, he batted 297 in his career, had 2,300 hits. I mean, I guess he was great in baseball too, right? I mean, um, had 1,100 RBIs. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, career highlights and awards for this manager is eight time, a nine-time All-Star, four times World Series champ, right? Winning, uh, World Series in 96 and then 98 to 2000. Won the NL MVP in 1971. Um, retired my number six with the Yankees. Part of the Braves Hall of Fame, Cardinals Hall of Fame, two-time manager of the year. And then uh, voted into the Hall of Fame in 2014, 100% expansion era committee. And as a special assistant to the commissioner of baseball. And yes, Joe Torre. There's an authentic ice cream place down the street. They had their food truck here. Absolutely. Really? Was it called Michoacana or something like that? All right. Well, we, of course, we know him as a manager, but he was a former player in the MLB, and that's what we got to go with. Of course, if he, didn't, if he didn't play in the MLB, we'd be going by who he managed the longest. But since he actually did play baseball, um, he played nine years in Atlanta. So we're going to have to give that to Atlanta. So that is Michael. Nine years in Atlanta, six in St. Louis, three years in New York. All right, last four baseballs here, guys. Now, 
Now these are the fanatics under wraps. Oh yeah, Rex, we have a lot of those. We honestly, in a lot of especially Latino neighborhoods, we there's like one in every other corner. Legit. Alright. Alright, here we go. Who am I? I can't even say this guy's nickname because they would just give it up. But former MLB third baseman shortstop. Have a career batting average of 276, over 3,000 hits, 431 home runs, and 1,600 RBIs. Played for one club my entire career. One club my entire career. 19 time All Star. 19 time All Star. Two time AL MVP. AL Rookie of the Year. Two time Gold Glove Award winner. Uh, I have the MLB record for 2,600 consecutive games played. Part of the Baltimore Orioles Hall of Fame. Retired, number eight. That was a first ballot, ninety eight point fifty three percent in two thousand and seven. And of course, my nickname is the Iron Man. So there you go. Yes. Now this actually baseball is pretty cool, actually. So I think this was the last year he played in the MLB, right? Two thousand and one. And then this is the All Star Game in Seattle in two thousand and one, and he inscribed it Final All Star Game. That's pretty cool. And that's the official ball as well. So that's pretty cool. Now remember, of course, these these baseballs, of course, are going to be a lot nicer than those Leaf ones. That's why they are a little bit more expensive. All right, next one. Oh, nice. I'm a currently active professional catcher in the MLB. I'm only 24 years old. I was, uh, I want to say number one overall pick, right? I think he was. Yeah. Number one overall pick, right? Let's see. Where's the other stats? They don't have so much stats for him yet. I guess they don't, right? No, I guess not. Well, drafted by the Mariners in 2016, 40th round, but he did not sign. Because he attended the University of Oregon, Oregon State University, where he played college baseball for the Beavers. And yes, taken first overall in 2019, signed for $8.1 million, the highest signing bonus of all time. Made his professional debut in the Gulf Coast League. Um... After five games, was promoted to uh, Ironbirds. After three weeks, Ironbirds. Rushman was promoted to the Class A Shorebirds. And yes, Kev, you were right. That you were right, Adley. I guess there's not many stats from him too much yet, but I think he made his debut not too long ago, right? I think it was like opening day, didn't he, or something like that? He got a spot. Oh, sorry, May 21st is when he got it. Yeah, Adley Rutschman. It's a black leather baseball. That looks pretty sweet, actually.
And that's going to go to Baltimore and Aaron Miller. That's back-to-back -back baseballs for the Baltimore Orioles, actually. All right, two more, guys. Two more. All right, I'm currently a former professional baseball pitcher who played 19 seasons in the MLB, primarily with one team, but also played for two more teams, batted and threw left-handed. Made his debut um, in 2001, was Rookie of the Year, uh, was actually second place Rookie of the Year behind Ichiro. Who also won an AL MVP that year as well. Um, basically, pretty much got my World Series with my third team that I played for. And um, was a six time All Star. I won the Cy Young in 2007. I was the ALCS MVP. I had uh, two wins leaders in the MLB in 2009 and 2010. And yeah, I mean, nothing. No, no takers? Not even on that? My third team was the Yankees in 2009. No, not Avery. Cleveland Indians took this pitcher in the first round in 1998. My first name starts CC. <laughs> well, CC Sabathia. All nine World Series. And of course, team play for the longest was going to be the Yankees. And that's Yankees, Josh Mills. All right, uno mas, guys, uno mas. I did not. All right, last one here, guys. I'm currently a starting pitcher for the Phillies. I'm 32 years old. Played for two seasons, or two teams, sorry, my entire career. I actually uh, was an all-star in 2021. And I was strikeout leader in 2021. And um, my first team I played for was the Mets. Have a wins loss record of 73 and 57. Have an ERA of 346 and 1100 strikeouts. Not Aaron Nola. I wear number 45 for the Phillies. Unfortunately, Gary, not an astronaut. Brandon got it. Zach Wheeler. And All-Star Game Baseball right there. 
So of course currently active. Um, goes to the Phillies, which is Aaron Miller. The owner of the Phillies. Brandon, this is a group break right here. All right, guys. So there you go. That was the mixer. So we have one uh, that we have to randomize to everybody. Um, so let me clear out this here. So again, we have three giveaways, though, that we had to do originally here, which was a Top Sterling Baseball box, $1,200 value. Holy Rodriguez autographed baseball and Ronald Acuna Jr. autographed baseball. So what we'll do here is, which we've done in the past, since uh, this is going to be randomized to everybody, top three will get this, and as a consolation, number four is going to get the Anthony Edwards. So here we go, guys. Good luck, everybody. Here's the dice roller. Here's the customer names. Let's roll it. It's a two and a three five times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five. So five times, two and a three, five. All right, Gregory just missing out on the top four. So number four is going to get the Anthony Edwards, guys. That was like a little consolation there since it was a non-MLB team baseball. So getting Anthony Edwards is Sean Healy. There you go. So Sean, you're going to get the Anthony Edwards. At number three, uh, getting the Acuna is James. James D. Congratulations. Getting the Julio at number two is Aaron Miller. Congrats. And number one getting the Sterling box, Jeremy Port. Sport Port. There you go. So boom. That's after five times. So there's the winners there. So there you go. And let me quickly just show you guys the baseballs really quick too. So here's the Julio Rodriguez autograph baseball black gold and like I said this Ronald Acuna is a little different obviously you can tell that this is Ronald Acuna plus the CO8 and all that but he actually spelled out Ronald Acuna this time so there's that R that he always does and that's Ronald Acuna there and then of course the uh, Sterling box is right here 2021 so there you go folks appreciate it guys that was the 28 box out of the park baseball mixer on jazbeescasebreaks.com